Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure is the first part of the Bill and Ted franchise and was produced in February 1989 by Dillo Entis Entertainment Group. It's got a PG certificate with a running time of an hour and a half. The story was written by Chris Matheson and Ed Solomon and the movie was directed by Stephen Herrick. The total budget for the movie was around $10 million and it made over $40 million worldwide. Bill and Ted are high school buddies starting a band. However, they are about to fail their history class, which means Ted would be sent to a military school. They receive help from Rufus, a traveller from a future where the band is the foundation for perfect society. With the use of Rufus's time machine, Bill and Ted travel to various points in history, returning with important figures to help them complete their final history presentation. Guess we use too much power. I like it. Ted, while I agree that in time our band will be most triumphant, the truth is Wild Stallions will never be a super band until we have Eddie Van Halen on guitar. Alex Winter was born in 1965 and plays slacker Bill Preston, one of the two leading characters. Winter is also known for his role in The Lost Boys and has more recently received acclaim for his documentaries. Al Leong was born in 1952 and played Genghis Khan in the movie. He's also known for his role as Endo in Lethal Weapon and for appearing in Die Hard. Amy Stock was born in 1958 and plays the character Missy, Bill's stepmother. She also appeared in the follow-up movie, Bogus Journey. Bernie Casey was born in 1939 and played Mr. Ryan. He was a former pro football player and also appeared in the Bond movie Never Say Never Again. Sadly, Bernie passed away in 2017 after a stroke. Chris Matheson is one of the writers of the story and played the role of the ugly waiter in the movie. Clifford David was born in 1928 and featured as Ludwig van Beethoven. He also appeared in The Exorcist 3 the following year, but sadly passed away in 2017. Dan Shaw was born in 1956 and played Billy the Kid in the movie. Dan is perhaps best remembered for his role as Ram in the movie Tron from 1982. Diane Franklin was born in 1962 and played the character Princess Joanna. She had previously starred in The Last American Virgin and Amityville 2 The Possession. Alongside Chris Matheson, Ed Solomon co-wrote the story but just like Chris, also appeared in the movie, as the stupid waiter. Born in 1937, George Carlin starred in the movie as Rufus, the deadpan time traveller. Of course, George is best known for his stand-up comedy routines, and sadly passed away from heart failure in 2008. Hal Landon Jr., born in 1941, played the role of Captain Logan, Ted's father. A well-known stage actor, he also appeared in the sequel, as well as a Razorhead back in 1977. J. Patrick McNamara appeared as Mr. Preston in the movie. Although he returned to appear in the sequel, it was his final role before he retired from acting. Jane Wheedling of Rush Hour fame, the song not the movie, was born in 1958 and appeared as Joan of Arc. As I'm sure many of you know, as well as having a successful solo career, Jane was lead singer with the band The Go-Go's in the 1980s. John Carlson, born in 1919, was cast as the evil Duke in the movie. Carlson was born in New Zealand, but enjoyed a long acting career in Europe, mainly starring in Italian movies. He passed away in 2017. Keanu Reeves was the main star of the movie, alongside Alex Winter, playing the role of Ted Theodore Logan. Born in 1964, Keanu has become a Hollywood mainstay, starring in movies such as the John Wick and Matrix franchises. Kimberly Cates, born in 1969, plays Princess Elizabeth. Her movie debut, in fact. These days, Kimberly is founder and CEO of Big Screen Entertainment Group. 
Robert V. Barron was born in 1932 and was chosen to play Abraham Lincoln in the movie. Barron originally built his reputation in theatres across the US, but was never offered the same level of opportunities in movies or television. Rod Loomis was born in 1942 and appeared as Dr. Sigmund Freud. He is also known for his appearances in Body Double and The Beastmaster. Terry Camilleri was born in 1949 and appeared in the movie as Napoleon Bonaparte. A Maltese-born Australian, Camilleri has also appeared in The Truman Show and Knowing. Tony Steedman, born in 1927, played Socrates. Well known in the UK for his roles in various drama shows, Steedman passed away in 2001, having suffered with Alzheimer's disease. <laughs>